the world's Jewish museum, a celebration of Jewish contributions to humankind. The world-class museum has been designed by celebrated architect Frank Gehry, best known for his iconic masterpieces such as the Guggenheim in Bilbao, Dancing House in Prague, and LA's very own Walt Disney Concert Hall, with interior exhibits designed by the award-winning Ralph Applebaum, whose projects include the Canadian Museum for Human Rights, the United States Holocaust Museum, and the Newseum in Washington, D.C. Most of Jewish education for most of our kids is about all the terrible things that were done to us. Young Jews are being bombarded with anti-Semitism, BDS, and other movements that are designed to undermine their Jewish identity. We need to remind them of Judaism's values and contributions to humankind, of who they are as a people, to reinstill and strengthen their Jewish pride. We must always remember our difficult past. Yet we must also celebrate our achievements over the last 3,500 years. There is no place right now in the world to go where a young Jew can look up and see the Tin Pan Alley composer, the vaudevillian, the violinist, and the scholar, and the scientist, all in one place so that he or she can aspire to be like the role models of the Jewish people. And this is what the museum is designed to do. The world's Jewish museum will entertain, educate, inspire, and instill in all visitors a sense of personal pride and a commitment to the values that have driven Jewish achievement. The world's Jewish museum will be organized around pavilions and bridges that highlight exhibit themes. The Grand Lobby and Observatory, the Land of Israel Pavilion, the Enterprise Pavilion, including an Innovations Gallery, the Creativity Pavilion, the Inquiry Pavilion, the Education Pavilion, and the Tzedakah Pavilion. You have to, I think, see it in the context of pride, of identity, of uh, understanding for Jews, but also for the world at large to understand the rest of the Jewish story, the good stuff. It would be great if we're celebrating the Jewish people to do it in a place where they really know how to celebrate. I can think of no better place than Tel Aviv. Tel Aviv is a symbol of the renewal of the Jewish people. It's the center of art and culture, democracy, pluralism, tolerance, creativity and innovation. This museum is so vital because the world is full of communications that are antithetical to what our message is. We try to fight back, but this is one place where the whole story can be told. We are part of a great family, and I think that uh, cultural places can sometimes provide a bit of a respite and a breathing place to come and take a look around and take stock and just remember how much has been achieved. This museum will be especially for the next generation. We have to think about the next generation. It's a part of our value. I believe we can create this massive wave of a whole new thinking, a whole new value, a whole new dialogue of, of the Jewish people. The Asper Foundation has secured almost six acres of prime real estate north of Hirakon Park, within walking distance of the popular Tel Aviv port, both of which receive millions of visitors each year. I believe that the space that we have from the city of Tel Aviv for this museum is the most spectacular space possibly in all of Israel, possibly in all of the world. No matter where you are in Tel Aviv, you're going to see this and you're going to say, wow, what is that? I want to go there. It's going to be an institute like uh, Bilbao, like uh, the Opera House in Sydney. Today, there is no such a place in Tel Aviv. I also truly believe that this Frank Gehry landmark will bring additional tourism from all over the world and will play a big part in bringing additional jobs and revenue to the city of Tel Aviv. Just like his Guggenheim Museum did in Bilbao, Spain, and this is a story that plays out over many other cities around the world. McKinsey and Company noted, we believe a target of circa 850,000 visitors annually is feasible. The Bilbao effect is, is real, $3.5 billion in revenue to the city. For 3,500 years, the Jewish people have persevered and flourished. Now their story will finally be told in a visible symbol in the land of the Jewish people, Israel. 
We're talking about something different. It will talk about the future more, more than the past. Of course, the past will be there, but it will give hope. It's the spirit to show uh, that uh, we can be uh, you know, the best, not uh, only the best out of others, but the best that we can be. I think we can all, working together, we can make this happen. And there is a need to make it happen. And the time is now. To date, we've always hoped that every child that goes to Israel on birthright will fall in love with Israel itself. They'll go to Yad Vashem to learn about our difficult past, but now we're going to add to that. Our children will go to our world's Jewish museum, where they will become inspired and empowered to make their own positive mark on the world and continue our great tradition of leadership. This will be a valuable new pillar of the Jewish narrative. And this museum is going to be a work of art that we will all, all be proud of, whether we're Jewish or not. But it will feature the stars, the superstars over the centuries of Jews. And it's something that we should all think about, contribute to, and be proud of. Jewish ideas have changed the world without the world knowing it. Now it will.